Hello, Sycamore. Happy Monday. Hope you've had a great weekend. Today is February 27th, 2023, and welcome to Art Spirit Week. In this episode of our daily video announcements, I'm Kair. And hello, it's Monochromatic Monday, and I'm Leland. We're so excited to have this great opportunity to join you all on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Please be seated. Remember to check your emails throughout the day and be PBI's responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, be problem solvers. By the way, speaking of problem solvers, here we have Noam and Danny with a special with a special flex bell challenge message. Hey guys, it's Danny, Danny and Noam back, back with another challenge. challenge. During the month of March, we will be doing a March Madness tournament, but instead of basketball, we're going to be doing pencil bouncing. And Mr. Cole will be sending out a Google form for teachers to fill in. And during flex class, t teachers can decide the two best pe pencil bouncers to get into a giant tournament during the end of March. And the winner will get a big mystery prize. Sign up now! Bye! Whoa! Thanks, Norm and Danny. That looks like fun. Make sure to have your FlexBell teacher email Mr. Cole if your FlexBell wants to participate in the March Madness Pencil Bouncing Challenge. <laughs> okay, mark your calendars. Tomorrow is Op Art Zen Tangle Pattern Tuesday. So wear your optical illusions, patterns, and prints. It might seem a bit wacky, but these patterns are far from tacky. Three more days until the March 1st Cooper Road Bridge closure. March 3rd is the deadline for ordering the 2023 SJH yearbook. Time is running out! Reserve your 2023 yearbook today. The cost is $35 per copy. This weekend, March 3rd through the 5th, is Sycamore's Fine Arts Weekend. March 5th is the deadline for the optional COGAD testing signups. Next week, March 6th through the 10th, is Student Council Spirit Week. March 16th is the end of the third quarter, and March 17th, we have no school. It is a student personalized learning day. And then we start spring break March 20th through the 24th. Now we have today's Black History Month recognition with me and, uh, oh yeah, him. Who was Alex Coachman? Alice Marie Coachman Davis was an American athlete. She specialized in the high jump and was the first black woman to win an Olympic gold medal at the London 1948 Olympic Games. Wow, that's impressive. But that wasn't her only accomplishment. You're right. As well as winning Olympic gold medal, she was also named to five American teams. Five? Yep. And they were all American too. She was also she has also been inducted into eight different Hall of Fames. She was also honored at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics when she was named one of the 100 greatest ever Olympic athletes. In four years as an undergrad at Tuskegee Institute, Coachman won 23 gold, four silver, and Yo, two bronze medals, competing in the Amateur Athletic Union of the United States. After she competed in the national AAU track and field events, her gold medal count Increased to 26 gold, 6 silver, Yo. and 2 bronze, indicating that she does not do a lot of losing. Uh, thanks for listening as always. If you want to learn more about Alex Coachman, you can read the book, Touch the Sky. Now we're to Mr. Harris with our Students of the Week. Alright, now it gives me great pleasure to introduce this week's Students of the Week. So our first Student of the Week is Cecilia Dempsey. And Cecilia was nominated by Ms. Brink. And she was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. And Cecilia, you get that, and you get some Chick-fil-A. All right, Chick-fil-A. All right, thank you very much. Our next student of the week is Claire DeLuca. Claire, come on over. And Claire was nominated by Mrs. Craver, again, for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. And she also has her certificate and some Chick-fil-A. All right. Our next student of the week is Shania Peavy. And Shania was nominated by Mrs. Cydrus. And again, for PBS values of safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. Congratulations. She'll also get her certificate and some Chick-fil-A. And last but not least, 
This is Rylan Key, and Rylan was nominated by Mr. Callahan for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So uh, congratulations to all of these students. Rylan, there's your certificate. There's your Chick-fil-A. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Congratulations to all our students of the week. Let's give it up for students of the week. All right, congratulations. All right, we'll see you next week. Congratulations to our students of the week. Next up, did, did you, you know? know? Did you know that you might be drinking water that is older than the solar system? Whoa, I never thought of it that way. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Polar Bear Day. Yo, polar bears are so cute, but I wouldn't want to pet one. Not at all. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday to Phoebe P, Caroline H, and Tyler M. Have a wonderful day. Yes, happy birthday to all celebrating today. Those who did over the weekend, hope you had an amazing birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements on this lovely Catch the Sarcasm Monday morning. Oof, all this rain. All right, here's your announcement for today. The first FTC Robotics will meet after school today in room 221 from 3 to 4 p.m. Make sure you have a ride home and come ready to work on your robot learning tools as well as plan our team adventure outing. That sounds like fun. I may have to join that. Beta Club. All Beta Club members, it's a reminder that the induction ceremony will take place this Wednesday, March 1st at 3.15 in the cafeteria. Please have a ride here to pick you up by 4 o'clock. If you're unable to attend, please see Mrs. Derbyshire either Thursday or Friday. Footloose. Footloose tickets are officially on sale. All right, this show will take place March 9th, 10th, and 11th at 7 o'clock at Sycamore High School. Visit avestheater.org or scan the QR code provided to buy tickets. And if you look around the school, you'll see some posters. You can hit the QR code and it'll hook you up and you can get your tickets. Attention all track athletes. Today's practice has been canceled. So please go home after school. So no track practice today after school. And don't forget, on Wednesday, March 1st, the Cooper Bridge is closed. Now, if everybody's been telling you this, inevitably one of your parents is going to drive up here on Wednesday and go, oh, the bridge is closed and going to be mad. The bridge is closed on Wednesday, all right? So, this will affect all walkers, bike riders, and drivers coming east, driving over 71. So, look on going a different way. I did it this morning just to get in the habit of going a different way, all right? So, no bridge starting on Wednesday, March 1st. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now over to Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern with our Character Award recognitions. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation, and welcome to this week's Papa John Character Awards. The award that I have this week goes to Owen Willen, and it says, he is really nice to everyone, even though he doesn't know them. I could definitely stop reading this right there. I think that is a great character trait um, in itself. I, I know it's certainly not easy to show that you um, are inviting and positive with, with each person that you go through uh, throughout a day, but obviously, Owen, you make this very noticeable. But it reads on. It says, when I get a bad grade on something, he doesn't roast me. He is nice and sympathetic and knows what it feels like. So having sympathy and empathy for others are also great character traits as well. That's awesome. Congratulations, Owen. And, uh, and this write-up I have is for Hannah Jennings. And it says, you were the first person who really talked to me, and you are really, really nice. There aren't enough words in the English language. I thought that was, wow. that was good. Yeah, to describe how good you've been to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Oh, Anna, congratulations, and it sounds like a very well-deserved award. Got uh, two great character nominations. Thank you for the many students. I, I know in the hallway yeah. um, I'm getting multiple requests for character cards. Even when we're not in classes, people just want to recognize their friends for having such an impact on them. Um, this week, um, I am in Reedy's class. And I'm going to Mr. Nabrand's class. Oh, great, fantastic. So, hey, we go to classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right, have a great day. Thanks, a nice work, students. Thanks for doing the right thing and helping others. Next up, over to Sam and Savannah with a new Magical Monday. It's been a while since we had one of those. Hey Savannah, have you ever wondered if there really is gold at the end of a rainbow? I, after all these adventures, I'm really in debt. Yeah, you're right. I've heard the myths. <sighs> yeah. <gasps> Look, we should find out now. Great idea! 
Iya. <laughs> Now it's time for the joke of the day. Oh, I got you. I got you. You won't believe it. I hope you do. What is a snake's favorite school subject? Hold on, let me think about that one. I don't know. What? History. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. Be extraordinary sycamore and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week and wear your op art. Zen tangle patterns tomorrow. And go waves! <laughs>